Hello, this is Chris Novak, and this is my delay project plugin, uh, second project for MMI 503. So it has a mod delay here, normal delay, and my own own additions to those objects. So first, I'll start off demonstrating the normal things here. So I'll hit play on this drum loop. So all those down controls to rate the depth, the resonance, those are only for flanger though, or the resonance is only for the flanger though. Now we should leave vibrato with this guitar rhythm. So those are my normal mod delay parameters and usage. Now down here, where it says envelope flanger, if you press this button here, it'll unbypass it so the light's off. And what that will do is instead of modulating the the delay time with the LFO, it modulates it with an um, envelope detector based on the envelope of the audio. So I'll show you that. Like the flanger here. Ah, uh, much better with this. as interesting as the flanger so we're going to move on to the normal delay so in addition i Im implemented a normal delay that just does normal delay things so demonstrate that very quickly so there's that and so now, what I can show you is this reverse button. So let me bring out this guitar strum here. So you can use it in two, two types of ways. So if we go, go to this guitar strum, so like a single impulse, a single instrument, you put it up here. If you turn it on and you use it in the on position as a sort of record on and then off as record off, it'll record that pulse, then replay it backwards. So what the reverse does is it writes the delays in reverse order one if the button is on. So I'll show that strum. Uh, yeah, that's alright. So again. One more time.
so that's what that does it also is pretty cool on the guitar on I mean on the slow groove so here what it does is it it kind of it makes a noise that sounds like almost a turntable turning backwards and starts delaying it right in delays in reverse and has a really cool delay sound after that so I'll turn this here turn up the feedback a little bit so crazy reverse button does so what it does is instead of when I hit reverse it's gonna be on with reverse and when I hit reverse and it's writing those delays in reverse order instead of incrementing each each um, index it increments by two which leads to some really cool pitch differences and so you can hear this in the drums here I'll show you so play this was pretty cool the way it sounded I worked on it and I found that if you increment it by anything else it sounds interesting but just it doesn't sound good but it sounds interesting so I'll show it one more time here effects with it. I'll also show you it with the um, I can show you it with the um, noise uh, guitar this guitar strum and so so if they're both on you'll hear Try again. It reverses in the pitch much lower. Just like that, which is lower than it was without the crazy reverse. And the last one I'll show is with this guitar rhythm. It adds some really cool kind of harmonics to it. I don't know about if they're harmonics, but the strange pitch pitch delay echoes. So the extent of my plugin um, let me know if you have any questions thank you also any clicks you heard that was probably parallels acting up